why you here? Not why you here, but why you here? What do you mean why I'm here? Why, why not here? Oh, um, long story, injured basically, had to have surgery. Yeah, so now it's time to get back to rugby. So I can get capped, get back to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't play for any other country. There's no Caribbean team. I'm really glad Christian's back because when he went over to do the NFL thing, I was like, that's a good idea, that, because he's a hitman, you know, and I kind of want it to work for him, but if it doesn't, I'll be quite pleased when he comes back. Scene one, take one, see us up. <laughs> Christian Scott and Williamson, second row. It was a long route to, to professional rugby, for sure. For some reason, at six foot six and 15 years old, with a size 13 shoe, I fell through the cracks of every academy never even played county rugby. <laughs> Within the space of six weeks, I went from applying for grad schemes in my final year of uni to then professional rugby. So it happened really quickly, but something that I'd always wanted. So when the opportunity came, I grabbed it with both hands. Before every game, I kind of visualized like a big tackle. Got subbed on, it was off a kickoff. And it was just right timing, right technique. Alex Reader getting a good head of steam up, but that I'll has to be guy. tackle of the premiership so far. Hugo Monnier ended up giving it a good strap line. It's got the name of a posh boy, but hit like a thug. <laughs> ended up on Twitter, went a bit viral. And then that's where my name kind of got a bit more credibility. <laughs> My phone rang and it was the NFL calling saying, look, we like how you played. We kind of like to sit down and, and talk with you about it and see if you'd be interested in making a transition. Flew to Florida in the January to IMG Academy and started a 12 week intensive crash course in football where we were training six days a week, 6 a.m and then last meeting finished at 11 p.m. The mental element and the mental challenge was probably the hardest part of the transition because an NFL playbook is a thousand plays and you probably carry about a hundred plus for a game day. It's a different level of preparation and a different level of competition. Every practice, every rep, every moment you're in the building, it matters. So everything was trying to chase that 1% and I can honestly say for that three years that I was there, I was able to tap into a different element of performance. Unfortunately, my time in America was cut short with injury. I was released the day before training camp. Decided to come back to England, continue my rehab here, get surgery. And then I made a decision that instead of going back out to America, I had unfinished business with rugby. So now it's returning to rugby with a great team like Harlequins and seeing if I can finish off everything that was just a dream when I was a boy.